Hey gang, uh, if there's one thing that I'm passionate about, it's job security. And we are currently in an era where the entertainment industry at large is more interested in pushing for social issues than making good products that will keep their employees employed. And while a lot of bad products are coming out of major studios, we also have the extra stress of having AI solutions being added into everyday life. This is getting a lot of those business folks rather excited because nothing quite drives up those executive bonuses like uh, cutting headcount to reduce expenses. And while AI art does not make you a better artist, the same cannot be said for programming. I leaned heavily into GitHub Copilot to try and teach myself how to program for Unreal uh, to make games with it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the process I went through, some of the things I learned, in the hopes that it might be something useful where you might see it and be able to expand your skill set and protect your livelihood. So first off, GitHub Copilot is a product made by GitHub, which is owned by Microsoft. GitHub is a website where you can store your code bases and collaborate with others to work on them together. For GitHub, you are able to use the service for free. You can make your code public or private, but you can only have so many private repositories before you have to pay money. Like every AI product these days, uh, Copilot is just a large language model, though this one is trained off of thousands of code repositories. Copilot will take those public repositories that anyone can see on the internet because they're free for everyone to look at, and it will train itself off of them to try and give you coding solutions for problems that you give it in its when you prompt it. Uh, like many LLMs, it's not without its issues. Uh, sometimes it gives you code suggestions that are extremely old and outdated, and sometimes it'll give you suggestions that aren't real. Uh, however, if you're doing small things, it's really easy to just get a, like, a quick solution out of it that way and then iterate on that with other small solutions. It's the more complex things where it really starts to fall over on itself. Uh, but if you're building a little bit at a time, it's very powerful. I decided to use Unreal 5.3 to try and teach myself how to use Unreal, and coming from Unity, it was pretty different. Uh, just to get started where I could write code, it took me a while to figure out how to make a class in C++ and tell Unreal to go about using that code. But after following some basic videos on YouTube that step-by-step -step show you how to make games, I finally understood how an Unreal Blueprint worked enough that I could get started on trying out Copilot to manipulate things in Unreal. Uh, my first project is pretty much just a single file where I just mess around with everything that I could think of to try and change colors of images and the like. My second project had me branch out into several code files to try and load data. I had some issues in this project and decided to just make a new one instead of fixing whatever I had broken while poking around. My third project was a lot more ambitious to try and get the workings of a visual novel up and running, having text displayed that was loaded from data files. And this is something that Copilot really excels at. Um, if you want to do something basic, like I want to load a data file and start assigning it to my class, it is very good at showing you all the things you need to do to load that file and get it running in your program. And this is not just for Unreal. I was able to test this out to get Python code and, and running for uh, downloading CSVs. Um, can use it for Unity stuff. It can help you with formatting for JSON documents. It's a lot of, it has a very large breadth of training that it has to help you in whatever kind of issue that you're encountering and getting it up and running. I spent an evening or two on each project until this third one, where I dedicated a whole weekend trying to get it running. And with those test projects out of the way, I finally moved into a bigger project than before. This time, I wanted to build a full-on menu with some basic animations to learn more of how Unreal works. I used this project to, how to figure out how to handle volume and how to go about saving that data for opening the game multiple times. Uh, all of this uses prompting like every other AI solutions these days, though this time the prompts are in the code comments. Put in a comment saying what you want to do. Copilot tries to find a solution it can provide. If it doesn't have a solution it can give you, then you may be asking for something that either doesn't exist or that solution is something that's a bit more complex than you think. In those cases, just good old fashioned Google and YouTube searches to try and find how others do it. And that's, that's just how you go, have to go about it. I tried to learn kind of like the middle ground of where you should have Unreal handle things and where you should handle things in code. 
to try and get that balance to leverage the strength of both sides of Unreal. Uh, for example, Unreal animations are great, but I found a bug where if I use them to fade out backgrounds to give a transition effect, it can make the background disappear entirely if it went too fast. But after a week of working on this, I finally decided that I think I've learned enough and stopped working on that project to move on to a full-blown game. And I've uploaded this last project to GitHub in a public repository for anyone to look over to learn from in the future. Now, if you go over this project, like 30 to 40% of the code is written with AI. Uh, my first project, I relied on Copilot really heavily. So like 80 to 90% of the code in there is AI. But over time, as I learned more about using C++ with Unreal, I had to rely less and less on AI. When you learn programming, you are adding tools to a toolbox so that eventually when you are given something that you need to solve as a problem, you lean into that toolbox and find all the little pieces that you need to put together to get your desired result. And I initially thought about cleaning up this project before I pushed it up into GitHub for everyone to look at, but I decided against that because this is a project that was made to learn. Learning means making mistakes and figuring out how to fix those mistakes for the future. Um, anyone that knows Unreal could go and look at that project and point out all the little things that I've done wrong. And those are points where I could learn from them if they were pointed out to me. I've been coding for 15 years and there's still things that I don't know. And that's okay and that's expected. When you learn something, it's okay to make mistakes and learn from them. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to pretend to be perfect. You're just getting better at something new. And something like GitHub Copilot can help in finding these little solutions to get you up and running. Because GitHub Copilot has such a low barrier to entry, it's something that pretty much anybody can try and use. And if it's something that you could see yourself using to expand uh, your skills, I definitely suggest it. Uh, in particular, if you're an artist that's working closely with developers and integrating your art into a game, uh, this is something where you could learn more about the coding so that you can make your stuff easier to integrate into the game. Uh, and if you get good enough at it, uh, it's going to make you far more valuable over time. Maybe you don't work closely with the devs, uh, but you would like to write simple scripts to help you with your day-to-day -day activities, then that's something where you could lean into GitHub Copilot to try and provide you some basic scripts to help you out. Once upon a time, you would have needed to ask like a tools engineer to come in and build stuff for you. But if it's something simple that you need to uh, go again, like download CSVs from like your Google Sheets, uh, you can use GitHub Copilot to build that for you and then slowly iterate on that to make it better over time. And hell, it's not even slowly because it's so fast with you just saying, I need to make this little improvement. I need to make this little improvement. And it gives you those solutions. And then you can use that to try and solve whatever kind of problems that you are encountering that would make your life and your workflow easier. And at the end of the day, the thing that worries me most about seeing industry layoffs is that a lot of people have a hard time finding a new job when things go sideways. It's not unusual for some artists to go three to six months before finding a new job because so many jobs have been outsourced. So the way I see it is the more things that you have to bring to the table, the more likely you are to get a job faster. And a lot of places have business heads that are looking at uh, cutting artists for AI or outsourcing or a combination of both. And if you have extra skills so that you're not just some regular artist, then that can be the thing that makes it so that you are not added to a list of people that are going to get laid off when they try and do that outsourcing. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the repository in the description for anyone to look at if that strikes your fancy. Uh, and, oh, and if you are an industry professional and uh, you think that this would be useful, or if you think that you have something else that would be better in helping someone in growing their skill set or their career, I would super appreciate it if you would leave a comment and give your observations. Uh, because as someone that's been around for a while, I think it's super important to help steer the junior folks in the right direction to help out their careers. Uh, so any extra input or observations would be great. The more that we look out for each other, the stronger we are as an industry. And I hope that this was helpful in adding a little different perspective that might help you find that job stability in your careers. 
Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to subscribe to hear games related content. And thank you for your time. And I hope to see you in a future video. All right. Farewell.